for Leticia Dragon, the start of the calendar year brought plenty of joy as she took over the reins of the Dragon legacy from her father Douglas. Her journey, however, earlier took her across the globe. Oh, I was so excited. <laughs> I was so excited to um, not finally take over my father, but make him proud of me, you know, and given the opportunity to show him whatever he's taught me and be proud of me in that area. From my late father to my late brother, and now it was me, and now it's Leticia has taken over from me. When I was young, I was looking at my father and everything what he was doing, and I loved being around horses, you know. So from young, he used to bring me to the stables and he used to come in and look at him and I said, oh, next time when I grow up, I said, this is just exactly what I want to do. But um, over the years, there are some changes that happened and I worked with the airlines for a bit. And after a while, I said, I have to come back to my first passion and that's working with horses. Yes, she flew with Singapore Airlines. She wanted to see the world, but then she wanted to come back to racing. She's been off and on coming to the stables, following me to the stables, look at the horses. And when she was free, during her break, while she came back from overseas, she would come and see her horses training in the morning, off and on. Oh, well, my intention was to see the world, is to gain a little bit of knowledge and a little bit see what racing is like elsewhere as well. Being in the airlines taught me quite a bit because um, Singapore Airlines was a very good training ground for me in terms of leadership, skill, people management. And as well as I had a chance and the opportunity to meet people from all walks of life. As much as doing that, I had a little bit of time off when I was overseas to especially go out to some of the turf clubs and all. And the tracks to see how racing is like and type of horses and things like that. So it was just uh, pretty much all in all a good opportunity for me. Leticia has the benefit of a mentor and a father. In most businesses, this is often a key to success. It was not that hard because she would always come and consult me and ask me questions and how do you sometimes teach a horse, change him from bad habits to a good habit and teach a horse the good things. Sometimes I explain to her, sometimes I bring her to the track and show her how it's done. It's over every day doing the same thing and to teach the horse like a bad horse, you put him with company, he'll turn for the better. It's just a matter of time. Well, I think working with my dad was a good experience and it's still a good experience. We work together like a team and from the beginning, he's always been always very helpful with input and as well as him allowing me to share my ideas with him. We've explored a lot of ideas together and he's trained me and taught me the things that I need to learn and shared with me his experiences throughout his racing years. Leticia did not have to wait too long for her first winner. In fact, it came on her very first day as a trainer at the races. I wasn't so nervous about um, having my first day or being the first day as a trainer here in Singapore but I was more um, in deep thought about all the procedures and making, making sure everything ran on right you know and the show ran on smoothly the first day when I took over. In terms of the horses I said well racing is racing you know and with a bit of luck hopefully we'll go there and greet the judges and um, most of the horses or some of the horses that ran that day had a little bit of potential and I have a little bit of time for one or two of them there that day. So I was uh, hoping to have my first winner to, uh, on Arrow to Post, but he came up a bit late and, well, he didn't disappoint me the next start because he came up there to win for me. Oh, I can't explain it. I was so happy for her to get a first winner. And it's a second entry for that day. The first entry was uh, Arrow to Post and that horse ran second. And the second runner for her in that day, on the 1st of January, one for her and she was so happy with it. <laughs> I was so excited because um, Chaya was a horse that's very close to my heart. Um, the owners have been very supportive of me even when I first started with my father, you know. It was a horse that we picked on a New Zealand bloodstock sale and we both looked at it and said, oh, he's a small boy but let's see what he can do, you know. And um, being my first winner and being the first horse that I chose for this particular owner who's been supporting me all the day, all the while since day one, it was even more a greater joy than that. Away from the races, Leticia continues to live a balanced life. Well, I like going out for movies. I like movies, I like uh, sea sports, I like the wakeboarding, jet skiing and all. And um, pretty much on weekends, like on Saturday, when we don't have much in the evening to do here, I'll go out to the beach for maybe a little bit of water skiing or jet skiing. Looking ahead, while Leticia has the world at her feet, she knows that she has only now really started flying. Uh, for the moment, my ambition is to do my best, train as many winners as I can. Well, I need the support of good owners and all and good horses. 
and uh, hopefully one day, who knows, maybe I might be there. More winners, more support, more better horses, and maybe sooner or later, try and win some of the big cups.